Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a really cool prefab home company entering the affordable space. The prefab home market continues to pick up steam and more companies are entering the space with new designs that'll make you wanna move in tomorrow. Seriously, there's more new companies entering the market than jokes about my hair in the comments. And that's saying a lot. Why all of a sudden is there so much interest in this space? Well, I think the industry now offers what a lot of people are looking for. A combination of affordability, cool factor, and the lifestyle benefits that come with it. The amount of new companies entering the space speaks to its popularity and how many people are showing interest in homes partially or completely built off site because even with all the new companies, it still isn't easy to get one. The company I'm talking about is called Cabin Co and their energy efficient smart homes are on a completely different level. What I'm gonna do is tell you about Cabin, show you their smart homes and let you know when you'll be able to get one. Cabin Co is a prefab home company that builds energy efficient smart homes for unique locations worldwide. Just when I thought I'd seen it all, nope. Along comes Cabin with designs that look nothing like anything else in the space. They want people to live anywhere, whether it's an addition to a home in the city or a new home on a remote island. Sky's the limit. Cabin was founded on the belief that beauty and technology can coexist in innovative housing solutions. They're a green technology company advancing an innovative manufacturing process for net zero cost efficient component modular housing. Here's the thing, building offsite is not a new idea, but what's changing and will change this space massively going forward is the advances in technology and manufacturing. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be a technology buff. You're looking at a guy who records videos on an iPhone behind a $29 ring light ordered off the web, but that's besides the point. The point is, I think offsite builders will be able to use technology and robotics in ways that simply will not be possible on site, giving the prefab industry another efficiency advantage. Cabin says using our innovative prefabricated component construction strategy combined with energy model design and renewable technology, Cabin Co. has created a new era in home design for the conscious and connected consumer. Led by social entrepreneur Jackson Wyatt, they've assembled a team of experts in sustainable housing, prefabricated home assembly, net zero engineering, solar energy, and technology to bring the most innovative housing solutions directly to buyers. They want to ensure people live sustainably, live balanced, live connected, connected, live nourished, and live affordably. I like it. Let's get to their homes already. Cabin currently has two models available for pre-order, each utilizing a radiant in-floor heating system for comfort. Inside, a cabin smart home technology allows owners to monitor and maintain temperatures throughout. The HVAC and mechanical systems are optimized for comfort and efficiency, integrating leading technology through heat pumps, heat recovery, ventilators, linear diffusers, and split duct systems. The solar-powered roof feeds the cabin battery bank, offering energy no matter where the home is located. They have on- or off-grid systems, offering both a sanctuary and a solution for nearly any environment. I'm currently on the grid and all this talk of solar has me thinking how sweet it would be to cut out just one monthly bill. Just one. Actually, I'm lying. My power bill comes every second month, but you get the drift. The smaller of the two homes currently available for reservation from Cabin is called the Mori. Highly likely I'm pronouncing that wrong. The first thing that jumped out at me about the look of the exterior of these homes is they're different. A lot of prefab homes have a similar size and shape, but these have a unique look that I think people will like. Yeah, the look is cool, but as the saying goes, these things are more than a pretty face. Cabin design strategies are net zero, which means that the energy conservation, efficiency, and on-site renewable generation accounts for 100% of a building's energy usage. At Cabin, they achieved a net positive strategy with numerous different factors, but one of them is listed as effective building structure using shading, window placement, orientation, and wall and window angles. Apparently, these elements create highly efficient structures for year-round comfort and energy generation. Who knew? I mean, it does make sense. They have larger than normal overhangs that would limit direct sun exposure on the windows, and I'm guessing the angle of the roof line would be situated to take advantage of whatever way gets the most amount of direct sun for the solar panels. It's big brain stuff, and I'm glad somebody's out there thinking of it. Inside the home, the space is split into two floors for a total of 540 square feet. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom home with everything required for one or two people. The ground floor is 323 square feet with living room, kitchen, 
bathroom and utility solar control room. This isn't a huge space, but it is wide open, so I'm guessing it does feel bigger than it looks. This is a home I would love to see in person just to get a feel for the space when I'm in it. I've looked at a lot of floor plans over the years, and it doesn't matter how good the renderings, virtual tour, or pictures are, nothing compares to getting up in the thing. The kitchen has a big island that if it were me, would likely take the place of a table, leaving more room in the living room. If I'm hosting any kind of dinner party, something's gone horribly wrong, so I'm not really concerned about that. And besides, if people were coming over to be underwhelmed by frozen pizza, there is a 184 square foot deck that should be more than enough room for all my friends and closest acquaintances. Off the living room is a set of stairs that leads to the bedroom. The entire second floor of the home is designated for the bedroom, which works out to 217 square feet. Not really sure what else to say about the second floor aside from they label it the first floor, which makes me wonder if I've been doing floors wrong. Is everyone out there calling the upstairs of a home the first floor and the main floor the ground floor, like a hotel? The next home currently available to reserve from Cabin is the Sonder at 752 square feet. The Sonder floor plan is very similar to the Mori with a few important differences. The most obvious difference is the size, but the most important is a second bedroom. Whenever I showcase a smaller footprint home, I do seem to get a lot of requests for options that would be suitable for a family, and this, this is that. The ground floor of the home has more of the same stuff that's on the ground floor of the Mori with a total of 462 square feet. That means more kitchen, more living room, and more bathroom. Actually, I think the bathroom is the same size in both, so that means more living room and more kitchen. The deck space, like the bathroom, remains the exact same size, so let's move on to the first floor. That just sounds wrong to me. On the second floor, the hall is open to below, balcony style, and instead of the one bedroom in the Mori, the Sonder does have a second bedroom, which will interest a wider range of buyers. These homes are prefabs, but it doesn't explain on the website how many pieces the home ship in or how long it takes to set up on site. All I know for sure is it can't be shipped fully finished because of the width and height, so there will definitely be some on-site work required. Listen, I know it can grind people's gears when I do a video that doesn't actually show pictures or videos of homes that are finished, but if I wait around till they've built a bunch of homes, guess what? They're no longer a new company and the point is to get this info out as soon as possible. It's stated on their social media that construction would start this summer, so as soon as they have pictures or videos of finished homes available, I'll revisit. Right now, Cabin is taking deposits for a wait list for homes that will be built in spring 2023. Before I wrap this up, let's talk about the price. Cabin doesn't list their exact pricing, but they do give the following info. The price of a cabin may be equal to or less than the down payment of a traditional house. A household making the average annual income for the region can afford a cabin and have monthly payments not above 30% of net income. Certainly doesn't give us the whole story, but it's something. Cabin Co. is bringing a new prefab home design with a cool exterior that currently has a wait list for 2023. At first glance, I really like these homes and think they'll be a popular choice for buyers given the look, sustainable features, and suggested affordability. Cabin Co. is in the early stages, but with the team they've put together and some of their past experience, I think we'll be hearing a lot more about what they're doing going forward. They recently announced larger floor plans with homes up to 1,850 square feet, so these first two are just the beginning of a larger selection of homes. I think these homes look amazing, so I'm definitely gonna be following along with Cabin, and as soon as they get their first finished units, expect an update right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.